Brazil is definitely not what you'd expect. It was such an eye-opening experience to its culture. It's the most biodiverse country in the world and there is something for literally everyone here. From breathtaking skyscrapers to delicious food exotic fruits and an amazing party scene. We did lots of spontaneous things such as sunboarding and we had a good laugh. <laughs> but what really stood out for me was the beach and its landscape which definitely is a symbol of the Brazilian culture. So after seeing all of this, I decided to ask my friend a few questions about his country. So my first question for you is, what is your favorite thing about your country? Uh, people are more kind, uh, they're more friendly. Mm, they would treat you like, like part of their family, so I think that people are the most important, like my favorite thing here in my country, I would say, yeah. The top one, yeah, probably that's the main thing. People not even know you, and they treat you like son. Um, you know, I haven't been elsewhere in Brazil, just in the south part, as you know, okay. and from what I can see, this part of Brazil isn't so promoted, like Florianópolis, Balneário, Campo, amazing places, but again, like in my country or other places in the world, we don't really hear that much about those. We just hear about Rio de Janeiro or Sao Paulo. Why is that? That's a good question, man. Uh, the, I, I would say that the main reason is because people want to know like bad news. And most of the bad news are happening in Rio and Sao Paulo. And that's why they're more promoted than like other parts of Brazil, maybe. That's, it, could be a, the, it could be a reason. It could be like a like why they like to promote those cities, and of course because those cities were like famous by their um, you know by the Olympics, exactly. Olympics, the World Cup, you know. So and of course like Rio because of the carnival, and everyone knows about carnival. So which makes sense why people know Rio but not like other parts of Brazil. But Brazil is huge, like Brazil is really huge. So I would, that, I would say that's the main reason. World Cup, like media, no bad news, accidents, uh, you know, some, uh, those are the main things I would say. Like, even like before like the World Cup, uh, Brazil was just known by Salvador. Oh, Brazil. Salvador was the first capital. And then Rio was the second one. But then they, they did, they built a new yeah. capital, which is called Brasilia. And then exactly. maybe that's also one of the reasons that people know Rio yeah. and Salvador. Yeah, but Sao Paulo is also really uh, known by like uh, foreigners. Exactly. Uh, yeah. People come to Brazil, like mainly to Sao Paulo to do business. Like one of the yeah. biggest cities in Latin America. If, it, if it's not the biggest one in America, but Sao Paulo is really huge. It's like 20 something million people like in the same city. It's pretty, it's pretty big. Like, what really fascinates me about the south part of Brazil, it's like the culture and the history of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think that many people know this, but south of Brazil is mostly colonized by Italian and Germans, right? Italian, Germans and Portuguese. And Portuguese. Yeah, exactly. but there are some other like cultures that um, it's really famous here. But they're like, like the Netherlands. most predominant. The most predominant. Oh, so there's also like Netherlands. Yeah, there are a lot of different, like uh, Japanese, as you know, you saw yeah. it. Part of my family is Japanese. Um, you know, like, yeah, I mean, Brazil is really mixed. Uh, it's hard to say which one is the predominant one, but I would say in my state, probably Germans. Germans. That's the top one, yeah. So what's your uh, ethnic background? Um, that's hard to say. I have a lot of things. So I'm Italian, I'm German, Portuguese, <laughs> I have some African, Wow. Uh, I don't know from which part, but I'm pretty sure because my grandfather is kind of black, 
He has some. He has some uh, black. Uh, black descendant. Exactly. Yeah. And so yeah, they have like. I mean, I'm really like. My my family's pretty big, like the family thing. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's very interesting, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people would like to know those things about Brazil because certainly, I would say from my opinion, people when they hear about Brazil, they just think, oh yeah, it's. Yeah, just Brazil is known as like carnival, women, um, <laughs> what else? Yeah. Parties. Parties, I guess. And, nice and beaches. beaches exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But Brazil is much more than that. You like, know, a lot of engineers are exported every year for different countries. Uh, there's like a really big place here called e uh, like, like NASA, but it's not like the same thing. Okay. But they study like uh, aeronautics stuff. Uh, but Brazil has like a uh, have a lot of you know fantastic people. You know, but. Normally they just know uh, what is on the media. Yeah, that's why. That's yeah. why I think that uh, people need to go and leave or stay for a while in that specific exactly. country to really know what goes there, what happens there. Because Brazil is a really diverse <coughs> place, and I would never think about that. Like when I think about Brazil, I feel like in terms of people, like usually people of African descendant or mixed people. But it seems like you guys have here everything yeah. like it's, that's that's awesome dude yeah i told you once that like brazil has like the biggest community of japanese out of japan so you guys in terms of food you have a lot of like it's very inspired from europe like you guys have a lot of german food yeah, here true. my my grandma she's german yeah and she cooks a lot of things from germany it's almost fantastic it's yeah good, it, it tastes really good that's really cool i'm, um, I'm really happy to hear that and i hope that the um, the people who are going to watch this, they'll definitely come here to the south of Brazil and see yeah. it for themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the last question that I have for you. So, why do you think there is this stigma about Brazil being so dangerous? Like, all the time when I'm talking with other with foreigners about Brazil, they tell me, oh, don't go there, it's too dangerous. Like. I would never go there even if you'd pay me. I've been here for two weeks and I can tell you like as you know I felt so safe here and I felt like it's all a lie like of course there might be danger but here in south of Brazil I don't think so. Uh, probably I would say again probably like because of the media. A lot of Brazilians they go and live in different countries and sometimes you know like people do bad stuff and uh, and maybe outside of Brazil they're known as like bad people or something like that and then this take my goals to the country too and then that's why people think that you know Brazil is danger dangerous in like in some kind of way but the thing is that I would say every country is dangerous yeah. as you as you saw uh, Brazil is pretty safe but yeah I would just like to tell the audience that in my opinion and my friend's opinion, south of Brazil, it's really safe and you guys should not fear to come here. So, Angelo, I would like to thank you for taking your time for this interview. And now I would also like to thank a very special person, Rafaela, which is uh, Angelo's girlfriend. You guys made um, this experience for me to feel a lot like a local and not just a tourist here. So, thanks a lot. And also, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you learned something new about Brazil today. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.